Welcome everybody out there here to our next webinar about JFT Invest, improve your investing experience. My name is Stefan Friedrichowski, as always, for those kind of uh, webinars. And I have to apologize for the short interruption five minutes ago, because for those who have already logged into the webinar, uh, I have had to restart uh, the webinar um, once again, because I didn't got a connection to my microphone, but that problem is solved. And I see that you are back here to the webinar. So it's great that um, you have found the way a second time into that webinar. If you just came uh, in already earlier. So that was five minutes ago. Anyhow, so today we have the 5th of July 2019. And it's a real pleasure for me to have you here and the warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank as well. Topic is JFD Invest. That is, let's let me introduce you already a little bit what is JFD Invest about. It's it's a social trading platform, it's a mirror trading, it's a copy trading system, and finally, it's a digital wealth management. So what you are doing if you be uh, if you want to be part of JFD Invest, you finally act as a portfolio manager. You select between already pre-selected trading strategies, and you decide which strategy should be copied into your account. And that means you have all the freedom for selection, setting risk parameters, and everything like that. So it's a cool platform to be part of JFD Invest and uh, to have. Um, a new job and the job title is portfolio manager how to do everything i will introduce uh, um, today and especially i will talk additionally about um, two strategies which are uh, maybe quite interesting for you so that you get uh, some additional details about those strategies. Those will be gold mine and balance. I will talk about the highlights of last week. One of those strategies is one of those highlights. Let's see about that. And I will talk about my personal JFD Invest account. So I have done the same that you might do uh, if you like. And I have created a JFD Invest account, investing in five strategies as we speak. And of course, we will have a review about that account as well. Before I really start, I have to show one slide. As always, our disclaimer, I think um, it's quite obvious uh, that we are talking about investment. We are talking about trading. But finally, whatever you do, you, of course, you do it on your own and your own responsibility. I think that's quite self-explaining. But it has to be mentioned at least once during a webinar. Highlights of last week. Let's see what that has been. The highlights of last week have been the strategy balance. And uh, you see already here, uh, the performance graph of that one, we will have it in a large, larger version later. But you see that the overall grows about uh, for a time of about two years, and uh, it's hitting the twenty percent line. So, so it would be ten percent per year. You may think that's not enough, but I think it's quite okay to have ten percent profits. Um, for just following a strategy, that's uh, not a bad job. So, but of course, we see already within that growth that uh, we have some wiggling around drawdowns. And let's talk about that if we come uh, to more details of that strategy, which is trading for <clears throat> forex pairs. But you see other strategies have a good performance as well, and. Yeah, now I think it's time to have a close look about what is really JFD Invest about. And that we can do uh, the best here um, on the web page. Um, but let me mention one thing additionally, because I got questions about that uh, from time to time. Uh, do we have recordings of those webinars and even how can you access all the other um, webinar recordings? So let me quickly guide you through that step because it's really easy. You open your browser and then uh, you uh, search for JFD YouTube and then it's already done. So the first hit is already the right one. And if you press uh, that button, uh, then you are directly on our YouTube channel. And here you find all the webinars, um, all the recordings. And if you 
don't want to have them grouped like this one, uh, you press videos and then you can see all of them. And you see there are hundreds of recordings. And you see, for example, other webinars like uh, Power Webinars, uh, Address by Indicators, that's from, from my end, but from my colleagues as well, English, German. Uh, so it's always here. And uh, there, for example, we have the recordings of last week, a webinar about JFD West. But let's jump back to um, JFD West itself. So if you start on the homepage of uh, JFD Bank, then you go for Invest, and then you are almost in JFD Invest. Maybe it's first to have a quick view on strategies. You see, if I scroll down a little bit here, then you see uh, the top five performing strategies. And um, you see that uh, those I want to talk about is gold mine and balance uh, that are the special topic topics for today. But you see, there are even strategies with uh, higher returns than those two. Um, but what you can see else is, already some additional key figures. And you see one quite important one, we have to um, discuss that a little bit more, equity balance deviation, you see high negative numbers here, not that high negative numbers for others. So it might be related to the risk profile of that given strategy. So it looks a little bit like higher return, higher risk, not quite linear and not everything is exactly following that sentence, but it's a little bit about that. And that's natural, that higher risk uh, means potential higher returns, but uh, let's uh, look to that as well. So we are talking in general about really good performing strategies, higher returns, and those strategies have been selected by the JFD and there are prof professional traders behind. And how can you be part of that? Okay, here are the four steps to do that. Um, the first thing you need is to uh, sign up for a JFD Invest profile. That is just a registration um, process, email address and password, and then you have your own profile. So then your next step might be that you open a JFD Invest account, which is a special account since uh, that account is acting with a leverage of one to 100. And that means, um, you get the same conditions as a professional trader, uh, since you follow professional traders and that's the reason why you have the same conditions. You may think that the downside is that I cannot trade or you cannot trade by your own directly within that account, so you cannot open uh, an individual trade like uh, going long in DAX or whatever. Uh, that's not possible. The only thing you can do, but that's a quite cool thing, is you can follow those strategies according to your own preferences. And about preferences, that will be an important topic as well. Finally, you connect the two and then you can start trading after uh, there's some money in. But what you always can do is you can have access as a guest that you can do already right now. And I will use that um, here just for demonstration. Mm -hmm. There are more informations available if you are registered, but let's start with uh, than just being a guest. Then you can see there are more strategies than just the five. Uh, we have in total 15 uh, right now. And um, you see, once again, the key figures, inception date, so when the strategy has been started on a live account. And um, Although those strategies have an even longer history, uh, either by just developing, so back testing, uh, or um, in demo accounts, but that is the start point uh, in time for a live account. So everything is definitely live trading. Uh, return overall last month, year to date, and equity balance deviation. Uh, let's start with Hyperion. So that's uh, quite top performing strategy, uh, as we can see with the numbers, 60% uh, um, right now. And here we have the overall growth um, over the time of a uh, little bit more than one year, one year and one quarter. You see, of course, there are ups and downs. And as we speak, we have a down 
uh, within the growth. So then it's always growth is uh, the actual equity, um, how, how much money has been earned percentage twice, and that is exactly reflecting by that graph. You will find other graphs here as well. For example, if you really click on equity, then it might look strange. Hey, what's that steep step down here within uh, the graph? And you remember that within the growth, we didn't have that step down. What does it mean? Okay, there has been a withdrawal. So, hmm. Of course, um, we show the numbers as they are. That means if there has been a withdrawal within uh, the master account and that trader took out some money, he can do uh, whenever he likes. Uh, it has absolutely no impact on if you follow that uh, strategy and it's not your money which has been um, withdrawal here. No, of course, uh, it's uh, just the master account itself. So, um, therefore, you see... Uh, maybe steps down here or even step ups because then there has been a deposit. Finally, you see two graphs. <clears throat> one is the balance and one is the equity. Um, if you are quite familiar with trading, then you uh, hopefully know the difference and the difference is open trades. So balance is always the account on closed trades and equity includes all open trades. And those open trades might be in profit or might be in minus. So then this is called floating losses because they are not realized, but they are trades open. And so the, your actual equity is then lower than the balance. In principle, uh, um, it could be even above uh, balance um, because then the trades, the open trades are uh, in some profitable. But in this case, you see we have uh, from time to time open trades which are negative and that is exactly equity balance deviation and since that number is that important we even have an own graph for that um, so that you can see that open trades over time um, and you see here that this strategy is quite volatile meaning there are sometimes um, faces and there are open trades in minus and that could even be a number like minus 40 percent same would be for your account um, if you follow that strategy and then you may think okay i like the strategy but i don't want to put all my money into the single one and that's exactly a good um, opinion because what you can do here is you can select more than one strategy and follow more than one strategy in your JFD Invest account, and then you have a real portfolio. Thinking about, uh, let's say we have 10,000 euro and we just follow the strategy with 2,000, uh, then within my overall account, uh, it would be only one fifth of that number, which is um, eight and a half. Uh, it's 8% about. So I would have a drawdown of just 8% if I have a portfolio and I would distribute my money uh, to five strategies in this case. And that's exactly the cool thing uh, you can do with JFD Invest. Let me check whether 2,000 would be enough for that strategy. Indeed, they are. Uh, so we have here on details always the minimum investment sum. Um, that is a number you have um, to keep in mind when you create your own portfolio. And since I have the number already here, I want to talk about that. Um, finally, there is a performance fee involved if you follow a strategy. But the good thing is the performance fee is always a high watermark, which means you only pay if there are new profits if you reach on months and base new highs and then you would have to pay uh, or your account is charged with that 25 percent of the profits not of the account and there's no um, underlying um, management fee behind it's just performance i think that's quite fair and um, it's good to know that other things I would like to introduce here is that you see, of course, the monthly return table. Ideally, it would be all green. Yes, but it's trading, therefore it's not always green. Um, maybe we have one strategy which is quite overall green. Um, ah, I, I forgot the name, but you will find out uh, by yourself if you um, review all the strategies. We have additional information for you which might be 
important for your final decisions which strategy you like or not. And if you click here, for example, on instruments, you can see what are the traded instruments. In this case, the strategy is trading mainly um, DAX and Dow Jones, and a few other trades on three other symbols. A lot of trades have been executed in the past, uh, meaning there are statistics behind, so that's good to know. It's not just a strategy with five lucky winners and then everything is okay. No, so those information may be part of your personal review process. Minimum investment, um, equity balance deviation, drawdown. If you go here, for example, for the growth chart, then you would realize, okay, from here plus, let's say, 40% to here, minus 10, um, that's minus 50%. There has been a drawdown of minus 50%. And all those things might be part of your review process in order to decide which strategy you like and which you would like to follow. And finally, with what amount of money within your overall portfolio. So at least that's my way of thinking about creating a portfolio. Is a 50% drawdown uh, too much? Hmm. That's exactly your decision. For the one, yes. For the other, no. But uh, it's up to you. And I cannot guide you for that number. Um, it's really a question of your own, or your own trading behavior, your own investment behavior. But what I recommend is what you see here should fit to your preferences, and uh, that should be part of your um decision process. I mentioned another strategy and um, the top performer of last week is that has been balance. Uh, let's look to that strategy. You see a different kind of behavior over time compared to, um, to Hyperion. We don't have that high number, but on the other hand, we have um, less equity balance deviation. So since I mentioned that is a quite important key figure, uh, let's have a look to that as well. Okay, we realize that um, last year, April, or it was the uh, beginning of May, uh, there has been a number of close to 12%. And uh, a few weeks ago, we have had a similar situation, but only half of those numbers. So that's one part, the strategy overall compared with the other one is not that volatile um, but does not have the same growth okay and looking for equity and balance itself um, now we see a couple of steps but now we have to really to compare that growth that was within equity and balance with the growth itself and then we see okay uh, we have here something here something let's look back and finally, we have here something. Okay, that was a withdrawal because we didn't uh, saw that in the growth. But here, okay, there have been trades uh, reaching stop losses, which is good to know that the strategy has a stop loss. And um, therefore, we realized some losses. And the same is true here because we, we see here a step down in balance as well. And... Um, we saw the same behavior in the growth, so that was not a uh, withdrawal. No, the only withdrawal is here. And that's therefore important to compare growth, equity, and balance. So step, strategy has a, a certain um, stop loss. And month's return table is almost going to two years history, which is really um, good to know that the strategy is that old. I mentioned already the traded instrument, but you can see by your own now, uh, it's directly out of the strategy. And we see four different Forex symbols, uh, three more minor ones and one. Um, you definitely maybe trade by your own Euro, US, US dollar. I promised to show you a little bit more um, about those strategies uh, because uh, we can have a view on the direct master account as it's really um, out there uh, on a, a VPS. And here we see um, the open charts of that MT4, which is a master account. You see the same number here in the blue line, uh, 24 
2045. And what we can see else is we have open trades um, in, in all the four different uh, forex pairs. And within those graphs, you can see the last closed trades. Red numbers, uh, red lines are negative trades, and green lines are positive trades. And you see the strategy is acting with trade groups because all those end at the same point. The same is true here for New Zealand dollar, uh, Swiss franc. So how is the strategy working? Strategy is working initially with a power candle. Uh, no, sorry, uh, that's uh, it's the other one I will mention. Uh, it's initially working with an EMA. And there's an EMA um, which triggers the trade direction. And in this case, it's always the counter. So let if I would start the strategy right now and we don't have any open trade, then at the next end of the hour, the uh, decision for all the four pairs would be uh, made. And we just would compare the current price to the EMA value. And if we are above the EMA, then we open a short trade. And if we are below, then we open long trade. So you see that counter behavior. So we expect the price goes back into the direction of the EMA. And that's what behind the strategy. But now our trades might become um, might have floating losses. And let me explain it uh, within that chart of Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. Then you see exactly what happens. At that point in time, there has been uh, opened a long trade on Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, and definitely it was not the best decision. Okay. And here, at that point, we open a second one. Same lot size, no martingale element. Um, so it's just uh, opening same lot size 0.01. And then here we have the next open of a trade. And then finally we get everything into profits. And profit means the sum of the three trades are profitable. Um, and then we closed everything here. And you see that was a cool decision uh, to do it exactly there. So at the end of the next hour, we open the next trade, and that was a long trade. And here you see, good, good deal, trade has ended here. So that is how the strategy is running and um, using uh, rebay mechanism and counter behavior. I mentioned that I want to discuss another one, which is a little bit similar, but uh, having um, some more profits and less equity balance deviation, and that is a strategy gold mine. And we see here the overall growth, and uh, one step down here that has been stop loss, reaching stop loss. Recovery took a time, and then we are back in the game, um, and it really looks uh, quite uh, well. Uh, almost all numbers in the monthly return table are green, but only almost. So it's quite cool strategy. And uh, no, that's not what I would like to show. I would like to have a view of the traded instruments. Here you can see that we have a portfolio in itself. It's not only four, then balance. No, it's now, uh, I think, 13 different um, pairs which are traded. And just a quick view on uh, that strategy as well. Uh, once again, I can show you the master account. And the master account is here. And uh, then we can see how that strategy is acting. You see sometimes similar behavior uh, as we have discussed earlier with those trade sequences. But here we have a different entry. The different entry is here <clears throat> that we use and power candles on H1. So if we have a power candle, so a candle with a candle body which is big enough uh, above a certain threshold, then we open a trade, and in this case, into the same direction. So if we have a power candle to the north, then we open a long trade and vice versa. That's how that strategy is acting. And obviously, it's not always invested in all instruments because the trigger is a power candle. That's the difference to the strategy balance. Uh, right now, we have uh, three open um, uh, symbols. Okay, finally, what I would like to, to share with you is my personal trade, JFD Invest account, uh, because then you get a feeling of how it might be if you follow a couple of strategies. And then you see some 
something more, uh, how that is running. And here I started with the very beginning of JFD in West in September last year. Uh, my account was 10K and uh, yeah, up to May this year, it was more or less just a, a move north and then I have two steps down within my JFD in West account. Those have been strategies reaching stop losses and uh, yeah, my copy traded uh, uh, which is stop loss as well. So therefore I realized those losses. You may think, Poor, that's heavy. Yeah, you're right, but I'm still with a gross return at 26%. So uh, that's a number um, and still the year is not over. And the recovery process is ongoing. So um, I'm uh, think that uh, when the year is over of that September to September, I will be back in the 30% regime of gross uh, return. Where I'm allocated, where, what kind of strategies I'm following. Um, and you see, I mentioned five strategies I'm following uh, right now. Archimedes, Balance, Neptune, Gold Rush, and uh, Gold Mine. So let me briefly talk about the one, the, those which have not been mentioned uh, in detail. Archimedes is a strategy mainly trading Euro Polish slotty. Uh, quite an interesting strategy. So it's an exotic pair, but uh, it has a characteristic behavior, and that strategy uses exactly the the logic behind that forex pair. And then we have Neptune, which is an intraday strategy. All trades are closed at the end of the day before any swap costs. Um, that's also good to know. Um, and we have Gold Rush. That is a daily seasonal on uh, 30 different uh, symbols uh, using statistics about a certain direction in, for a given instrument. And for example, Friday long for gold is one element of that strategy. So those are uh, in. Finally, I would like to show you how easy it is to follow a new strategy. And let's think about, I want to follow Forex GAN. Um, I cannot do it, you will see why, but I can virtually do it just pressing the button follow. And the next question I have to answer is the amount to allocate. That means how much of my account should be allocated to that strategy. And you see the minimum investment is 3,400. Okay. Um, and you see available balance is 288. So I don't have enough money to follow that strategy, but at least that's how it would go. We have another button here that is risk management. Let me press that one and explain what's going on here. That is uh, a number risk management uh, right now 10%, meaning, okay, if I would invest 3,400 for that strategy and I would, um, and the slider would be at 10%, that would mean if the strategy my, with my followed trades have a loss of more than 340 euros, the strategy would be automatically stopped out. That means all trades are closed and I would not anymore follow the strategy. Okay, that's how it works. So it's something like a stop loss level for a strategy, on a strategy level, not a trade level. And you can use that as well. Where to put that slider? It's up to you. And it's hard for me to give here any recommendations um, because it has to do with your own preferences. Uh, there might be people putting it uh, to the left or to the right. Uh, it's simply up to you. At least what I can recommend is to compare um, two equity balance deviations and drawdowns in the history uh, in order to, to have a view on how often or if uh, I'm would have been stopped out at a given level. So that's how it works, um, that you follow a new strategy. And since we have the graph uh, behind, um, you see quite interesting strategy, Forex run trading Euro US dollar only. And that's exactly the one with a totally green, um, um, totally green monthly return table. So all months have been profitable and there have been one step down, but obviously within the months. And uh, if you look for equity balance deviation, we can see, okay, that was been 10%, um, but not realized. Finally, trade 
uh, turned to be profitable. And overall, in it's less than one percent in average uh, here. Uh, if you look to to that one, traded instruments I mentioned euro US dollar only. Um, so that's uh, quite good strategy for that forex pair. That's the way it works. And if you have any further question, then please do not hesitate to get in touch with me personally, if you like. So I here's once again my email address. It's uh, s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com. And if you have further questions, please do not hesitate. Or you write um, an email to support at uh, jfdbank.com as well. Definitely, we will help you out uh, with whatever question you you have. That's for now, and that's Friday. That means week comes to an end. So for me, it means um, that I wish you a quite good weekend, but first of all, uh, a quite good Friday. So the rest of the trading day, and uh, if you like, um, next week we have another webinar about JFD Invest. Let's uh, review my account again. Hopefully, I can show some additional profits down there. Next webinar will be on Thursday, uh, 7 p.m., um, I think, uh, but you will find on JFD webpage as well. That's for today. Enjoy the day. Bye-bye.